So let me show you how to dig out your water bodies with the native Unity brushes. Uh, this is going to be very similar to bunkers, just you know, on a slightly larger scale. So back into our Rock Creek golf course, and let's start with this one right here. Um, the first thing I like to check is to make sure that we have our water body is somewhat correct in our terrain, um, because when we put water in you when we do have our water plane in unity it's going to be like real water and that it's going to fill this in so if this isn't flat we could potentially have some water that's like spilling out over the and it'll look horrible it won't take this shape it'll take the shape of the terrain around it so what i just like to do is do is do a sanity check so i'm in my inner terrain i'm in my paint height tool and you can remember we have that shift to sample the the height so if i go up here and i shift i can see that this is 18.8 .8 up here what i like to do is hold down shift and click around my water body so that's 16.31 16.33 16.28 so this is pretty close i mean we're talking a few centimeters here so two seven so basically three so we're all within probably five centimeters so this is pretty flat which leads me to believe that this is we got good data if this was not flat we might have some issues here we might want to either flatten it first then lower it um or we might have to deal with some of the terrain around that outside here but we look like we're in pretty good shape so what i'm going to do is i'm going to sample an area here so that's 16.32 and i'm just going to lower this whole thing um one meter so i'm going to put this as 15 uh enter and now i'm going to do i'm going to stick to this brush i'm going to make it a little bit bigger initially and let me change my angle here just a tad and you can see i want to stay away from the edges as much as possible and i have some computers frozen a little bit okay so you can see I'm going to start in the middle and I'm just going to dig out the middle without touching the edges. All right. So I did that first. And now I'm going to get a slightly smaller, softer brush. Make this a tad smaller still. And I'm going to zoom in to a particular area here. And now I'm going to start going at eh, that's a little too soft, in my opinion. I'm going to make this a harder brush. And I'm just going to make it, and you can see how this blue kind of starts to lick the edge. And that's what I'm going to do is I just want this to break slightly. All right, back up just a tad. And I'm going to be very gentle and very deliberate. Oh, and you know what I realized I forgot to do? My terrain backup, because I'm making major changes here. And I'm going to call this. I mean, we're going to be safe. So thankfully, I didn't screw up. Let's just call this pre-water lower. Now, the good thing is I backed up after doing my bunker. So technically, we already have a backup, but it's always good to get into the habit, right? Let me save that. Let me just pull. All right, so that is saved. Now I'm going to continue here. Again, just very gently, I'm going to get that brush to just touch lick the sides here and i'm sorry that my uh my prompt is blocking you it's blocking me too but i thought it's just i think it's beneficial to you guys to see what my my keystrokes and things are um just getting that blue let me just change my angle so my uh there we go. This is much easier for me to see on this side now. I might have to turn that off. Go. So now you see, it's more or less like a swimming pool now. So I got this kind of sharp edge there. I don't want that too much. And I really kind of might have screwed up. Eh, it's not too bad. I'm going to have to be careful. We'll see what happens down here. See, this is kind of troughed a little bit. That might cause problems. The water might spill out through there. When I say spill, it doesn't literally run out as much as the water just gets a weird. 
the plane gets a weird shape to it. Um, so let me now just go back and smooth some of this out. Do it really opaque here. Just smooth those edges out. So it's not so much like a swimming pool, and it's we have like these little bit embankments. Yeah, so it looks pretty decent. Again, we'll have we might have to revisit this, um, come back and fix that, or I could just maybe just show, I could fix it right now. I'm gonna let it go. Um, but you get the idea here. Um, I'm going to save. We could do the same thing here. But I don't want to do this by hand. I'm probably going to do this with RAM. I'll show you. There will be tutorials on RAM. Um, and then this one up here, this other water battery, I'm going to actually not do anything so you get so you can see what happens after we run everything through Blender. Um, I'll, maybe I'll come back and add to this video on what it looks like if you do not dig it out. Um, but you get the idea. So I, I did dig this one out, and that's the end result. So now I have this one meter deep. And my water plane, I'm sorry, my water base will sit on the bottom. My water edge will be along the side here. And my water plane will be, you know, sitting on the top.